walk up to the challenge range today and the targets are spinning, their arms swinging. It's just, it's like uh, primitive weapons chaos. First weapon is the tomahawk and the first shot is the pendulum. Blue team chooses to send up Jake and uh, Jake picks Chris. Jake feels like he has the ability to get into Chris's head a little bit. But uh, Chris is very focused today. He sticks it. There you go, Chris. No pressure, Jake. I wish Jake would have called me out. I, I would have loved to put him to shame. Don't choke. Oh, That's done. us, baby. Done. That will not count. Red team wins. You know, Chris set Jake down exactly the way he was supposed to. Red team, who are you going to send up to throw the tomahawk? Gary. Right here. When he asked me who I'm going to call out, it's obvious that it's going to be Jarrett Grimes. Jarrett goes up, misses his first one. Yes. That one goes just over. Misses his second one. Oh, no, no. got to hit the front, got to hit the front. He's got zero points. I know that all I've got to do is stick one tomahawk. I'm ready to show Jared Grimes what I got. And that's all I needed. So I shook Jared's hand and thanked him kindly, and we both went on our way. There's one more station than there are competitors. So somebody from the red team is going to get to go twice. And we've pretty much come to the decision since I was the expert pick that that was going to be me. After watching the practice at the house, I felt like I had a pretty good shot against Billy. First throw. It barely sticks. Yes! One point. Next two throws, he's not as lucky. I'm feeling pretty confident at this point. All I got to do is stick two to win it. I wind up, I release, it hit and a miss. Nothing stuck. Pick up my second knife, and it's another throw and another miss. This is not working out at all, but I've still got one shot. As I release the knife, the knife hits the two arms, and it falls to the ground. So now the score is two to one. And we just lost the momentum. Mike Let's and go, Mike. Mike. Let's go. Come on, Mike. The next station is going to be another knife station. Really? Sticks his first knife. But I didn't hit anything. No point. Really sticks it again. I hit nothing again. No point. It's in the wood. Down to one throw. Go. He sticks it. Wood. Again. Doesn't penetrate a card. No point. <laughs> Mike steps up to the line. His first throw is playing around. It's a complete miss, and it kind of throws him for a loop. He grabs his second knife, and it's the same thing. Red team has a chance. Third knife squeaks in a hit. That, that was enough to win it. That's it! So now blue team's got control. All right, gentlemen, this will be a head-to-head -head showdown. It's a throw-off, and we have faith in Phil. He's a great rock thrower. So Colby gives the go. Phil hits one of the panes and breaks it. Uh, Billy's right behind him. It's back and forth. The panes are breaking, and then all of a sudden, the one pane that Phil needs breaks. Yeah! Yeah! And uh, red team takes the lead again. Heading into the fifth and final round. So it's Cliff and Dustin. They step up to the line. I'm really feeling nervous at this point because I know how well Dustin can throw rocks. This last station is going to be the big equalizer in this whole thing. They start lobbing the rocks. Cliff takes up his dart throwing stance, and the cans start falling. Cliff goes dink, 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 and hits three in a row. Everybody is up on their feet. And all we hear is the clink. Oh, that's it. Red team wins.